Hi, my name is Jason Babakayev. In the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you how to shoot in manual on your SLR. But wait, don't be afraid. Shooting in manual is almost as easy as shooting in auto. There's only three simple settings you need to know. First is your ISO. Second, your aperture. And third, your shutter speed. These settings need to be balanced to give you a good exposure. Let me show you how to do that. With camera in hand, I want to zero out the meter. First, I'm going to adjust my ISO. The F number is the aperture, and then the shutter speed. Now I have a good exposure. Great, that wasn't so hard, was it? Usually you don't have to change settings until you change locations. So now, let's look at overexposing and underexposing. It's simple, really. When this mark is on the minus side, that's an underexposed photo, or a darker photo. It can be changed by using your shutter speed, aperture, or ISO. When that mark is on the brighter side, that's an overexposed photo. Fantastic! Now that we know that, here are some guidelines to get you started on the right foot. When shooting portraits, try an aperture of 5.6. ISO 400 is probably a good starting point, and a shutter speed of 1 100th of a second. When shooting action, try 1 800th of a second with ISO 16 and an aperture of f2.8. For scenic shots, you want ISO 100 for the finest grain, f16, and the shutter speed doesn't really matter. It can be between 30 seconds to 1 30th of a second. Great, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe below.